So Brahala just released their new event, and it's actually good. So basically what happens is that the lava will rise on the new Star Wars map over time, and you and your opponent will have to fight for the last platform available. Not to mention, the lava does a lot of damage. And I mean a lot of damage. Overall, this is really hard, but also really good, because if you are a person that struggles with like your micro movements, then this is like the perfect game mode for you. But overall guys, I really recommend this game mode. It's really fun and will only be here for like three or four more days. So I recommend you go try it out. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Overall though, the Soul Wars collab is good besides the prices. This map is really cool. This is probably like my favorite collab map. The only thing I could think is better is the Tekken one and the Street Fighter one. But overall, guys, how has your day been so far? I, mm, off to a very good start, of course. Like going for the hitless run. I really have no idea how much damage that lava does. So we are going to try our hardest to stay out of it. We're trying my hardest to put Brent into it. Okay, it wasn't that bad. She went from like yellow to orange. It's still kind of... Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Clip. Clip. I'm going on Hamo. I'm going on Hamo. Hamo, come back. Clip that. Be best clip of the year. I'm literally the best Loki ever. Okay. But yeah, um, this gets really stressful when it's like only one platform because you guys have to fight for this really small area. And it makes it feel like 2018 Brawlhall again when like people actually want to fight you, you know, even a regular game. So yeah, this is really cool. I have no idea what just happened right there. I don't even know how that insect hit me. So it looks like the lava will stay on the ground for like 20 to 30 seconds and then go back down. Probably like 20 seconds. Also, in case you guys missed it, the community was outraged at those prices. Of course, there were some people that you know were happy with the mythics for this crossover. Um, I'm not saying the mythics are bad. I'm just saying they're overpriced. Like Anakin and Darth Vader should not both be the same price. Like that, that's kind of crazy. And I do see a lot of people still saying that these are pay to win. Oh. Mm. But yeah, overall, guys, if you haven't commented on that, what do you guys really think? Because I have not seen that many Anakins. I've only seen Darth Vader's and Ashoka's. I haven't even seen a single Obi-Wan. So yeah, I think that kind of already tells me who people actually cared about buying from the get-go. But of course, it's Darth Vader. Why would you not buy Darth Vader? Oof. Lava hit. But have you guys really played since the Star Wars collab? And also, if you didn't see my community post, it has been three months since our last legend. So I'm really hoping that Brawlhalla does something interesting soon. The fact we haven't got characters since December has me in. Oh! There is no way I just ran into that. Yeah, but the fact we haven't got a character since December kind of has me worried because Brawlhalla might go back to you know the three legends a year thing the four legends a year was definitely nice like none of the characters were actually bad but i mean if Brawlhalla needs more time to cook for better overall characters i can't complain so hopefully if we don't get anything in march which is looking like we don't we get the character in april which will be kind of nice you know right into summertime i really hope they don't wait till like june or something that would be insane all right, first game down, guys, into the next one. Now, speaking on the new legend, I have won Scythe and Hammer since I started playing this game three, almost like four years ago at this point. So I started playing when like Vector came out, but I only played like one time. I really only started playing when like Volkov around Onyx around those two characters coming out. And mainly it was because like I saw Steven Universe. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. When I saw Steven Universe, I actually gave the game a chance because that was like my favorite cartoon show ever. Well, it's not like favorite was like up there. But the fact we don't have Marceline as Volkov is definitely the realest scandal of all time. It's just like, it's literally right there, guys. Come on now, not even hard. All right, guys, also, what do you guys want to see? Like, I'm trying to do a double upload. Not double upload. I'm not doing that until, like, the next break. I'm in daily upload. I'm trying to, like, daily upload every single way. Hold on, is he going to fall for that again? There's no way. All right. All right, yeah, this was actually bad. But, yeah, tell me what you guys want to see. We are, like, 50 away from, like, the No Dodge Ranked video. I saw some people just want to share the news. 
I really don't know specifically what you guys want, so I just want to hear more. I did do a community post, so if you guys have not responded to it, make sure to respond to it. I'm trying to make the best content for you guys possible. If you guys see some more crazy challenges, just let me know. Yeah. Also, I have been like on auto. Wait, hold on. Hold on. There is no way. There, there is actually no way. This might be the worst um, level 25 plus. In, oh. Alright, I might be the worst. Honestly, this might be the worst next of all time. Because there's no way I just got hit by that. Wait, hold on. He's doing some decent edge guarding. Wait, hold. Hold, wait, he died? Alright, hold on. Oh my god, bro. I just should have went for the recovery, but I want to be cool, man. I just want to be cool about it. But no. He wants to go up. Literally the casual cannon zero to death read. Yeah, but overall, guys, that's going to be it. Remember to sub. Until next time, peace out.